murdered an entire family for not even $300 in an Xbox. So the bodies were in the house for two days until someone finally noticed. A co-worker of No Martinez had called the police to perform a welfare check since No hadn't gone to work since February 2nd. Police showed up to the house on February 4th at 1.05 p.m. and that's when the bodies were discovered. At first they thought it was a murder-suicide until it was ruled out as a homicide. It was also believed that there were multiple attackers since the bodies were everywhere around the house. Police knew that knives and guns were used, but none of the weapons were found at the crime scene. Police thought that either they were targeted because Maria was the only one that was shot, or the family was mistaken for another family who was the actual target. On May 19, 2016, Diego was arrested along with his 19-year-old girlfriend. When police questioned Diego, he said that he was only planning to rob them, but he ended up killing them instead. Police then had a break in the case when DNA tests showed Diego's blood under Maria's fingernails. The crazy part about this is that Diego and other family members had willingly given DNA samples to police in March, which meant either Diego didn't care about getting caught or he was very confident that he wouldn't get caught. Phone records had also shown that Diego was at their house on the day of the murder. Both Diego and his girlfriend both confessed to the murders and were charged with first-degree murder without bail. Before this, Diego never had a record and his girlfriend was only arrested once for shoplifting. His girlfriend had actually asked for a bond in 2020 for a COVID-19 bond, but was denied. Both him and his girlfriend are still in prison serving the time for the murder.